Good afternoon. My name is Sharon and I'm from the House of Prayer. And today we're starting a new adventure. Um, the House of Prayer team is hooking up with looking towards heaven for Jesus. And we're going to have a daily prayer for all the requests. And then I'm putting them on video and we'll be uploading them when I'm done. Um, this is a, an awesome opportunity that was given to me early, 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 like 1 a.m. this morning, and I've been so excited ever since. I have been writing down the prayer request that I've had come in, and I'm going to read through them first before we start praying, instead of starting, stopping, starting, and stopping. Um, I'm just so excited about this new opportunity, and I praise God for it because he has just transformed my little house of prayer and there's something major and i can't tell you enough how much that means to me god is awesome oh jesus is, oh holy spirit's in here holy spirit's here um let me go ahead and read out the names and what their prayer requests are. Donette Yarborough has had heart palpitations for three weeks now and they're getting worse and keeping her up at night. And they've been going on for four nights now. Oh, praise the Lord, we gotta get rid of that. Uh, Renu Tupper has a 22 year old son that is asking for urgent healing that he has suffered something, and I don't know what, for nine months. Um, he has a daughter, 27, and she has asthma and migraines. And Renu has indigestion problems that makes breathing difficulty, especially after eating. Um, I'm not a doctor, I am a nurse, but that kind of sounds like hiatal hernia. And that could take surgery if God doesn't heal it. And she is from India, which is the first person I've had contact me from India, and I just love it. Uh, Stephanie Menendez is having vision problems, can only read about five lines at a time. <coughs> Isabel Perez, she needs prayer as the Lord leads. She's in need of our help and his help. Kay Harrelson needs <clears throat> a deliverance team. And I believe we have that deliverance team with it starting here and going out on the internet as soon as I'm done and for everybody to be praying for her and then pray along with me as we're praying. And that, my friends, is such a powerful team. Kimberly Manor, she needs prayer for her children, her grandchildren, her new friend Ken, and his family, and her whole family. Heather Gravel needs to buy or rent a place to live by the end of August. And we're going to pray for housing. Mysteria needs prayer for the intercessions that we're doing and protection of the sheeple. And I'm going to add in that the, intercept, the intercession for our men and women in the military because they sure need it. And if anybody can do it, we can do it with the power of God and the power of prayer. So I'm going to start praying right now. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this afternoon with a whole lot of requests. But I know, Father, that these are not more requests than you can handle in one day. Oh, shut it into the office, I can Oh, Jesus, I just pray in the name of Jesus that all of these requests be answered. I am praying for that house to be found and they can get moved in by the end of August and there will not be delays. She has already asked 
um, put a, a bid on a couple of houses and lost both of them, but they were not the right houses, Lord, because we did not come corporately together to pray for the right place to her to move into. Lord, we just praise you right now for this house. Oh, Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We know you're taking care of this issue. We pray for the intercessions, for protections of the sheeple. We pray that they wake up soon. And when they do wake up, we're right there ready and willing to help them, to tell them what's going on and to pray for them. We know that you're coming soon, Lord. So we want to get the prayer out to whoever you want to hear this prayer. Oh, Lord, this is on the beginning, Lord. I, I just know that you are going to be supplying people left and right to be coming to the house of prayer and to looking towards heaven for Jesus. I just love it, love it. Um, we're going to pray for the palpitations that, that it's been, been having for three weeks and getting worse at night. I don't know if that's a hide or harm your Jesus, but you know what it is. You know exactly what's going on with her. And I just pray your guidance over her and that you take care of this, this health issue because this can lead to major problems. I don't know if it's a heart problem or indigestion problem, but whatever it is, Lord, just reach down and let her feel your warmth. This guiding over her heart and her intestines. Lord, you're healing her. Whatever's going on, that you would just take that and take it away. I had no surgery. Just take it away naturally in the name of Jesus. Yes. Um, you know the, the request for her new temper? His son, that he needs urgent healing. Four, I don't know what's the cause, but you do. And then um, her 27-year-old asthma and migraines. And then Renee Renew has indigestion problems that makes breathing difficult after a meal. Um, Lord, Jesus, Holy Spirit, I just ask that you just... Cover her with your wonderful healing touch and the children, Lord, just take them and love on them and take away their, their problems. Oh, shanananeakai. We're just asking in the name of Jesus, you just put your hand right on them right now, Lord, and they feel the warmth coming from your, your body into theirs. And they feel the healing, and we start getting praise reports. I can't wait to start getting the praise reports from these precious brothers and sisters. Oh, and I just have to say I am so grateful for putting these two bodies of people together, the house of prayer, and looking towards heaven for Jesus. Hallelujah. Stephanie has vision problems and needs you to touch her eyes so she can read your precious word. Lord, I don't know what's wrong with her either, but touch what is there. Let her vision just clear up, Lord. I pray that you, ooh, that you pray, I pray, and we pray that you just touch her eyes right now, Lord, and let her start reading immediately, immediately, Lord. Just touch her body. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Isabel, we're praying for the Lord. However, he leads. Lord, you know what she needs. I don't have a clue. She didn't tell me. But you know all. You see all. And I'm just asking you in the name of Jesus that you touch every single need that this woman has. We love you, Lord. We praise you. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. I just love you so much, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. You sent these people to me to pray for. It says you sent them to me. I know that you are going to touch each and every one of them. Right now, Lord, right now. Put the warmth around them that you have around me because I feel you so strong. The Holy Spirit is in me so much. I love it. I love it. I love being close to you. I love feeling the Holy Spirit all around me.
<laughs> Jesus, you are just awesome. You are the Lord, our God, and our, our deliverer. That's what we need right now, Lord. We need deliverance from these these illnesses and sicknesses or whatever. Jesus, we love you. We need you. We need you so much. Mr. Harrelson needs deliverance. A deliverance team. Well, this is the deliverance team. He doesn't need to go any farther, Lord. He doesn't need to go because we as a corporate body are his redemption team, and we will keep praying for him. Kimberly Manor needs her children and grandchildren and friends and family and her, her family to be prayed for. Lord, I don't know what's going on there either, but you do. So you take care of whatever their, their need is. I'm dependent on you, Lord. We're all dependent on you and asking you to take care of them. Heather uh, needs to rent or buy a place before the end of August. Lord, I know that she didn't get her homes that she put down offers on because they were not the right homes to put the offer on. The perfect home for Heather is coming, and it's coming soon. Give her guidance. Give her the right house to live in. And I praise you for that. And Lord, we're going to, um, Mysteria wants us to intercede for the sheeple. Lord, we're going to add the military people here also. We just want to pray today, Lord, that every person, especially the military, because they're in that danger zone, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people over there that belong to us, children of God. I know that the rest of the world are your children too, and I want to reach them, but right now I just want to asked for intercession for these people because this came up yesterday from you lord it came from you you ask us to intercede for them and that's exactly what we're going to do today lord we're going to intercede for the military and we're going to pray that you can keep the um aircraft safe and you can you you can make the ships safe take them in a different direction still be over there but not where they can blow them up lord so many people you've already told me this last year you told me that they are in a position that they will lose thousands like five thousand at a time Lord, hallelujah. This is not going to happen because we are going to pray, 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 intercede for each other. Oh, shakana ni asi konai. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I just praise your name right now. I praise your name. Each and every person here, not in this building with me, but they're here in spirit, and they will be here on the video when it's uploaded in a little bit. Lord, I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you for what you're doing for us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can feel the Holy Spirit in here so heavy. I know that you're answering these prayers, each and one of these prayers. You gave me this ministry early, early this morning. Oh, Lord, I just praise you, praise you for it. You are awesome. You are wonderful. You are a healer, our deliverer. <laughs> you are a doctor. <laughs> Most of all, you are our father. You are the true God. You deserve all the love all the praise, all the glory. Oh, Jesus, we just love you so much today. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for putting these two ministries together so we can get all of these prayer requests. And Lord, I don't know how to go about 
getting that phone line set up. So I'm going to need your direction for your people. So Lord, please help me there. Let the doors open to that like this one opened this morning. And this is my first time praying in the house of prayer. And people, you can see, I just have the, the I don't even know what it's called, the board up over there. But I should have insulation this week, sometime this week. I don't know. <laughs> and then we're going to order the board um, drive, drive, uh, drywall. So, Jesus, I don't even want to say amen, but I love you. I love you. I love you. And thank you for everything you've done and that you will do. In the name of Jesus, amen.